Hey YouTube, it's Raphael here from XX Raphael Productions, and I'm gonna be showing you how to make a random number generator and also get, I guess the number um type of program. So we're gonna use Java for this, and the IDE I'm using is Eclipse, and we're gonna go ahead and create a new uh, Java project for this. Okay, so I'm gonna call mine anything you want really. Just say some, just make it uh, simple. Uh, I can probably do uh, let's see, random number program. And also, you know, make sure your um, Java settings is configured already before you go ahead and click finish. Let's go ahead and when it's asking to create a new module, just click don't create. And then it should, you should have your program created. So I'm going to go ahead and um, open up my arrow. So I'm going to also right click on source and this I'm going to create a new class. And this is where we'll be writing our code. Okay, so... For our method stubs, we're gonna tick public static void main, and also I'm gonna call this class simply random number guess. And okay, make sure inherited abstract methods is also ticked. I forgot to mention that. And modifiers is public. So finish, and let's go ahead. And before we can do anything though, because we have to make sure our user gets input, so gonna go import a java util scanner so do import java dash util scanner and then right now you will get uh kind of like a yellow dotted line underneath but don't worry about it that's just because we haven't yet utilized it in our code but this should go away once we continue programming the rest of the code okay so now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna manipulate um what happens in this right here okay so make sure you don't type the code um, outside of the um, curly brace because that is that is um, gonna indicate that you're not you're not coding for that particular block okay so you're gonna make sure that you're inside and let's go ahead and initialize our scanner so scanner scan equals new scanner and this should say system dot in and now if you notice the very top line the um, that so-called error has got what error, not really error more of a warning it's gone away because we have now finally utilized the scanner util and this scan you can call it whatever you want to like you can call it scan one scan two whatever but just to keep things simple let's call it scan and then do system dot out the print line and for this we can kind of say like what is your name so i'm going to speed things up and let's go ahead and make sure we have a string and this should um, take in our input so scan dot next line now do next line because if we do like next int or like next double that it's we, we are trying to take in a string so make sure you put a next line for this okay so do system dot out the print line so I'll explain how all these works after I uh, how this works after I type it all out so well uh, plus name which is the name of our string space again and another speech mark comma i am thinking of a number between let's say maybe 1 and 20. all right so this is what our random number generator will um this is our values will be between 1 and 20 okay so let's go ahead and do int this will say my let's call it my number for this equals and now before we um do before we do anything though with this let's go ahead and create our um our other methods so it's going to be a int let's go ahead and go make some room here and do public static and this will be int instead of void it will say int because this will return we're going to make it return an um integer like a ran randomly generated so let's go int and now we're going to call this method simply get random number and for our parameters, we're gonna do int min and int max, just to keep things simple. So we'll take in two um, parameters, and right now we haven't returned anything, so it's giving us an error. Don't worry, because this will um, fix itself as we continue typing in the code for this block. So let's do, go ahead and do random, and now since we're doing random number generator, random equals um, new random. All right, and then do return random.int and this will be the maxed value that we took earlier and then do dot find first 
dot get as int. All right, this is what we'll do. And now, if you do, if you have an error like this, well, we're gonna import the random Java util. I, we should we should do it in the first time as well, but it's okay. So, if you get an error like that, don't worry about it for now because it will give it will just make it will give you the autocorrect and it should add an extra line on top of of it. So we have another um utility from Java. It's the random for random number generator. And let's go ahead. So now before that we had to type this out before we could um complete this line over here so now for the my number uh, let's go back to this and now we can finally do get random number and now since we are parameters are integers we can we have to do um let's say 1 comma 21 now i did say between 1 and 20 but the important part you're going to know is that there's inclusive and exclusive okay so in this case, the um, min value is inclusive, so that includes number one, and the max value is exclusive, so it will go only to one to twenty. The twenty-one here is excluded. So if I were to do one to twenty, it will actually be one to nineteen. So we're gonna fix that by adding twenty-one instead of twenty. Okay, so it is still between one and twenty, but since max is exclusive, we will have to add an extra number to that. Okay, so. So that's good. Okay, so we've got that down. Now notice how th there's no more error because we've got that down. So let's go ahead and fill in the rest of the um, code. So this we're actually going to do a for loop for this. So for int i equals zero. That's our initial starting point. i is less than or let's say less than six. Uh, colon i plus plus. So basically what we're going to do is we're gonna give our user about let's say like five tries before like we have five tries to get the correct number before it will give you the answer if you fail too many times okay so just to add some extra challenge now because of this we will have an X we'll have to add another scanner so let's just do scan two just to make this simple like I said before since this scan you can call it whatever you want to so you can say scan 3 scan 4 whatever you want it doesn't really matter but just for um, readability's sake let's make a scan 2 so it's easy for us to read our code we'll trace our code as well so do system that out that print line and this will be take a guess so now is the time that is asking our user to take a guess okay so int your guess equals scan to the next now like i said before do you notice how the first time we um took in our scanner it was next line that's because we were representing a string now that we're representing an integer we have to type in a number instead of a string or else it will throw an error okay so now that we're using an integer it will be next int instead of next line so like I said before, it make more sense as we went on, and now hopefully that makes more sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and do if. Now this is an if statement. We'll, be, we'll do an else if as well in a couple minutes. So if your guess equals uh, my numbers, this, this is if they get it correct. Okay, so it will be system dot out the print line, and this should print out you guessed correctly. Okay, and before we do our else if, we're going to add in a break, okay? So when you guess the number correctly, it will break, it will stop, okay? It will stop, it will terminate the program, all right? So let's go ahead and do our else if, okay? So else if, just directly underneath this, um, your guess is less than my number. So this will be if the, um, all right, this will be if the user guessed lower than the answer okay so it's self-explanatory as well if you see the less than sign all right so if it gets lower than the num than the answer well we're gonna go ahead and say system that out the print line your oops <laughs> typing too fast to guess is too low now if you notice i don't have a break because we want our program to continue running if the application is well, I mean, sorry, you want our application to continue running if we guess wrongly. But if you guess correctly, then there's no reason to keep it running. So that's why we have the break in that if statement. All right. So I'm sure you can guess the same logic for if your guess is higher than my number. We will say the same thing, 
uh, print line, your guess is too high. All right, so now we can also do another if statement. So if now this is what takes care if we kind of like if we guess too much and we get the answers wrong despite that it will give us the correct answer and it will be kind of like basically you failed the game I guess so if it's greater than let's say five I guess that's a reasonable amount of time system that out the print line now we want to leave this blank because I want personally for me personal preference but I would want this to be like a space in between before the it outputs the actual answer so now we can go ahead and do print line again and this will be nope the number so again this is if the user gets it wrong so i'm gonna add a comment just to remind myself okay there we go so if the user gets the answer wrong too many times i suggest you add these comments so that you um know what exactly which blocks of code um and their functions are so nope the number i was thinking of was and this should be my number now be sure that you didn't make any typos because um if you do the simplest mistake can um ruin your entire program so make sure you got that right i will leave this on for a few seconds before proceeding so make sure because i know this particular area can get a little confusing so make sure you get everything correctly all right so take a moment to look okay so that's enough time let's go ahead and I guess we can go ahead and test our program okay so to do that we're gonna go ahead and run so press our our um, green button up there and that will ask your name okay so let's do my name Raphael well Raphael I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 20 so we can take a guess, all right? So let's maybe let's do number nine. All right, so your guess is too high, all right? Now let's do number three, maybe. And if it's, if it's too low, let's maybe do number five, perhaps. Guess too low, so six. Okay, so if you notice, when we guessed correctly, we can no longer type because that is the purpose of the break right here to stop the program if you get it correctly but so now that we know that it's work all of these are working because right now we have um, tested our if statements and our scanners they're all working correctly okay but let's go ahead and test this block right here where we want to see if if we guess too many times and get each one wrong all the time let's see if this line of code runs exactly the way we want all right so I'm gonna run our program again because we already let's do Raphael or we can do any random name. Let's probably do Bailey, for example. Alright, well I was thinking of a number between 1 and 20. So let's get these wrong on purpose so that we can see if this um if this line runs the exactly the way we want. So maybe do 10, too low. Let's do 10 again. 10, 10. Okay, so since we got this wrong too many times it will say that the number i was thinking of was actually 19 all right so we have confirmed that this block of code is also working exactly the way we want so if you've got this down with no problems you have just made your very first java program is guessing the number and you've also not only made your first program but you've also learned how to make your own random number generator as well now there are plenty of other ways to do this that's the beauty of programming but there are more efficient ways to do this as well, or um, harder ways to do it, whichever one works for you. Either way, if it achieves your desired result, you can go for it, alright? So that is how you make a random number generator, and also, that is how you work with if, else, statements, and a for loops as well. So we've done a lot of good programming concepts, and we've also implemented our scanner to take in user input. Thank you very much for watching, and... Um, I will link my previous programming video where I talk about switch um, statements down below. And hopefully you all can check it out if you haven't seen that video yet, alright? Raphael out, and I'll see you in my next programming video.